Um, I'm probably not going to be as good as Stevie was um, because I hate public speaking um, and I haven't had a lot of practice uh, recently. By the way, congratulations. Um, I'm in Jake's district, so I wasn't able to vote for you, but I would have. Um, and <laughs> I wish you the best Katrina. of luck. She's yes, got I would, Katrina will have my vote. Okay. Um, I am running for Soil and Water Commissioner here in Lexington County. Um, it's a nonpartisan office. Um, some, those of you who know me know that I am the chairman of the Lexington County Libertarian Party. Um, and I know that a lot of people, even fiscal conservatives, constitutional conservatives like us, are sometimes wary of voting for a libertarian um, because they think, well, he can't win. But let me tell you something you may not know about who I'm running against. Um, a guy named Brent Weaver is the vice chairman of the Lexington County Soil and Water Conservation District. He is as liberal Democrat as you get. And Corey was saying, if a Democrat wants to get elected in Lexington County, they run as a Republican. And we end up with Nikki Setzer and Jake Knotts and others. Well, the other thing they do is they run for nonpartisan offices so that they can just not tell people and hide the fact that they are ultra-liberal Democrats. Mm -hmm. What we have ended up with is, is um, Kathy Hensley, who is the chair of the Lexington County Democratic Party, is also the chair of our Soil and Water Conservation District. And uh, she and Brent Weaver have worked side by side over the past year to encourage county council and others to implement property police ordinances. And we all know about these ordinances. I, I hope that we all have paid attention to those ordinances. They're trying to come onto our land, for those of us that own land, and say what we can and cannot do with what we already own, supposedly. That's not, I don't think that's just going against our rights and going against the Constitution. I think that that's going against something that is God given. If God blesses us with the ability to own property, then we should be free to do as we wish with our property. Um, anyway, what our Soil and Water uh, Conservation District has been doing for the past few years is they're, they're trying to increase spending, they're trying to uh, increase regulations. They can't legislate, unlike the county council. So they work with county council. They work with town councils across the county. They work with the state house, and they advocate from a supposedly nonpartisan and neutral standpoint for these liberal, progressive, um, globalist uh, ideas. Um, I'm running to provide a voice for fiscal conservatives. Um, Libertarians are, we may not agree on all the social issues. I will say I am 100% pro-life. I'm Catholic, and that is something that we take very seriously. Um, but as for fiscal issues, libertarians are about as fiscally conservative as they get. Ron Paul was a libertarian once. Um, and I don't think anyone could, could begin to say that, that he's not fiscally conservative. Um, I have a five-step plan, a five-point plan, for what I would like to do if the people of Lexington County are good enough and kind enough to me uh, to entrust me with this office. The first thing that I will do if elected is I will propose an immediate spending freeze for the Soil and Water District. We're spending enough money, we're spending too much money, and we can't afford to keep spending at the rate that we are now. Granted, their budget is not that big, but we need to cut everything, I think. Every branch of our government needs to be cut in some way. Um, step two is to identify and eliminate wasteful spending and any programs that are not specifically required by law. State law says what the Soil and Water Conservation Districts have to do. It says these are your responsibilities. But our districts, and especially here in Lexington County, are doing things that they are not specifically required to do, such as getting involved in, le in ordinances with the County Council and property police and things like that, um, spending money on um, educational outreach things uh, with, with water runoff um, and, and uh, recycling and things that are sort of sort of related to what they're supposed to be doing but not legally required of them. And I think that all those things should be eliminated or reduced as much as possible. Um, step three is to work with the county council, if that's even possible, uh, to restore and defend property rights. Um, I was really disappointed that Corey did not win the primary in June. Um, another 
excellent candidate that I couldn't vote for. Um, I'm in Bobby Keesler's district, mm -hmm. but um, didn't that just kill you? It that really did. Me too. It <laughs> killed me that I could not vote me. for it. Um, it's not Bobby Keesler's district. I could cry that. Keesler's district. District five. I said it's not Bobby Keesler's yeah. district. It's, it's my district. Right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I forget that sometimes. Um, but work with county council and provide a voice because there are not a lot of elected officials that are going to these public hearings at the county council chambers and saying, hey, now this isn't a good idea. All the county officials that do speak, and for any of you who go to these hearings, you know the county officials that go and speak about these, uh, these different ordinances and, and these different tax breaks that they want to give to whatever company, um, they're always in favor of. We need someone to go and speak against it and speak on behalf of the people. Um, the fourth point of my plan is to implement public-private partnerships, corporate sponsorships of educational programs, um, and even replace some of the paid employees of the district with trained volunteers to cut costs. Um, the soil and water conservation districts have, uh, because of, of, because of the, uh, the wording in the state law, they have more leeway and flexibility than other government entities when it comes to how they get their money. They can't raise taxes. The county council has to do that. The state has to do that. Um, but they are free under state law to pursue uh, fundraising, to pursue private donations, and even donations from corporations. And what I believe we should do, and I will push this very hard if I'm elected, what I'll push to do is go to companies like Michelin, who have a very big presence here in Lexington County, and say, hey, Michelin man, um, <laughs> um, we have this educational program, we have the scholarship fund, um, and we're trying to cut spending, but we don't really want to get rid of this. Would you be willing to sponsor this as a corporation? And it would benefit the company. It's good PR. It makes them look great to people here in Lexington County. It helps their business, and it helps the taxpayers because our money isn't being sucked out of our veins and, and given to things that we don't actually really need. Um, the fifth and final thing and the ultimate goal that I have is to cut the overall budget of the district by at least 15% hopefully more, but at least 15% over the period of a four-year term. Um, again, these are not campaign promises because I'm not going to promise that I am going to accomplish these things. I'm going to promise that I will do my best and I will try to get these done. And I will rely on you, if I'm elected, I'll rely on you to help me lobby the other commissioners and, and, and get the pressure and get the fire on them. Um, because that's the only way that we're going to do it. Like Talbert said, the only way that we're ever going to hold any of them accountable is if we continually do it and we don't let up. We can't let up. Because when we get complacent and we say, oh, well, I don't necessarily like what he's doing, but he's a nice guy. Um, to what my parents are voting for Jake Knoss this year. Hmm. They refused to vote for Katrina. You know what their reason is? Is that when I was in middle school, Jake Knotts bought me and my family uh, ice hockey tickets. No, oh to the Columbia Inferno, oh, yeah. and so he's a great guy, and he's he's helping our families and he's supporting our kids, and we have got to come to the point as a society where we can look beyond the nice superficial things that people do and see inside what they are actually doing, like Corey and Talbot are saying, and and see them for who they really are, and stand up to them and get rid of them if we have to. Um, Anyway, there's a table out here outside with, um, I think, five or six different uh, sheets with petitions for candidates to get on the ballot. Soil and Water Commissioner, I believe, is the only office that every candidate is required by state law to get signatures uh, to be on the ballot. Um, I need signatures. I only need 100, so I have a whole lot easier than Katrina and everybody else had it. Um, I only need 100. Wow. For the whole county? For the entire county. So, mm -hmm. so if you're a registered voter anywhere in Lexington County, um, and, and you would be willing to just get me on the ballot. Doesn't mean that you have to vote for me. Vote for the Liberal Democrat if you'd like to. Um, but uh, I'd appreciate your support, and I'd appreciate your support. Yes, sir. What is the salary for a commissioner? They don't get paid. They don't get paid, okay. No, sir. Um, I, I mean, the soil and water commissioners are the closest thing that we have to a true public servant anymore because they go out and they volunteer, and they, they actually, they don't do all of the hands-on in the field work. But, um, but what they do and the time that they put into it, they don't get compensated for in any way. So, yes, sir. Can I take one of those petition pages with me? Absolutely. <coughs> Absolutely. I'll, um, if you'll give me your contact information at the end of this, 
so that you can get let me know when you've got it got it done. Be finished with that petition campaign by the time this group leaves. <laughs> I'm hoping. <laughs> can I get a show of hands who else from Lexington County? Okay, well that's about 25% of my signatures right there. So. <laughs> Quick question. Um, Soil and Water Commissioner, though, even though they don't get paid, do they get expense reimbursement, health care? Uh, they do not get health care. And my understanding is that they don't get reimbursed for expenses. What is, um, I would I, expect heard, mileage, though, if you're going out. If it's, an, if it's official county business, I, I, I think you probably okay. do. Uh, I, I'm sure not going to Some take of these that you don't, and nothing against you, some of these you don't get like these appointed commissioners, from, you don't get a salary, but you get health insurance, and you, you get all sorts of other pennies that. Honestly, you know. Be amazed. I, I haven't put any time into, into researching that for one reason. I'm not going to take it. Um, Unless legally they make it. There are a lot. If, if they. It's interesting. They I, uh, well, legally. Sidebar. Once I'm elected, because I will be, by law, I can't opt out of the South Carolina, uh, I, I have to take their insurance and participate in retirement. That's why, yes, they can all say legally I have to and that's their walk away cart, you know. So that's why I said I plan on not taking it but I have to introduce legislation to get rid of it because I have to participate with them. Crazy, crazy. Well, that's right. why I'm asking you some of that. Sometimes you can opt out. But that, but that's how they can, or else you would. Why would you ask Tom Davidson or some of these guys why they're using that those retirement benefits? So anyway, well, I want him to finish. But that's right now the law has it so that none of them are held accountable for their actions. Any more questions? How many, uh, how many commissioners uh, sit on that board? Uh, there are eight commissioners. There are five elected commissioners, and then there are three associate commissioners, which are appointed by DNR. Um, and actually, interesting, I don't think I said this before. Um, Brent Weaver, uh, who I'm running against, was not elected by the people of Lexington County to be a commissioner. What happened was the previous commissioner, uh, Rhett Bickley, um, left the county at, at some point in the middle of last year, and Kathy Hensley, chair of the Democratic Party for Lexington County, appointed one of her Democratic Party buddies to be the vice chair. So let's vote for somebody. Did you? Have, I thought he was the you, treasurer. Uh, he may have been at one point, I believe, Fred Taylor, I think, is treasurer. Yeah, one more question? Yeah, do you have a website? I don't have a website, no. Um, but I would like to have a website, and I would like to be able to actually run um, a serious, real, full-scale campaign with signs and brochures and all that. It takes um, money, doesn't it? It takes money, and so... Well, I, anybody needs some donations. I could use them. And my friend Christine Cox, who's back there in, in the blue shirt sitting right next to where I was sitting, is running for school board here in District 1 uh, in Lexington County, and she could use your help too. So she's got flyers and, and stuff if you want to pick any of those up after the meeting. So thanks. Thank you all. Thanks, Joe. Thank you. Okay, well, I'm going to do your question in as a Soil and Water Conservation Commissioner until Stephen contacted me and asked to speak to us about that. And now I do, and you've got my signature and you've got my vote. Thank well, that's how all these crazy people get in office is because we don't even know it exists. I know, and it's you terrible. You get there to the ballot and you look at it and you, you think to yourself, my goodness, uh, who is that? What is yep. that? <laughs> yep. I they're, don't they're at the bottom of the ballot every year, yeah. and I've, I've never seen one that was contested. Yep. They're almost never contested, but it will be this year. Yay. Yeah.